So the the last motion that got denied, you were expecting that, or, or what? That Can was the clarify? most that was the most tenuous motion. Okay. Um, I knew that was the weakest of the three. Um, you have to file what you have to file, but I knew that that what the the chances of that one being denied were higher than the other two. And the, the two that you did get certainly strengthens your case. I mean, I, obviously, you don't let the whole cat out of the bag about how you're going to use it, but, I mean, how do you proceed now knowing that that testimony is going to be allowed? Um, obviously, it's important that that was allowed based on the proffer that we made today. Obviously, I still have to do my job at trial and make sure that the witnesses testify the way that I proffered in the motions. I have to make sure that there's a proper foundation established or Evan could reasonably object and be sustained. So I'm not, I can't just rest on my laurels and do nothing. But if the proffer happens the way that I say that it would in the motion, then. And the, the um, evidence that he presented about the people at the party who testified that they didn't see anything and the emails that Haley sent, I've you, received those. And you seem to be kind of saying that those are out of place at this time, I guess. What are your thoughts I on I thought they were out of place for the motion hearing, but the judge disagreed, and I don't think it's any problem that they were introduced today. And if those come up again at trial? Then I'll deal with them at trial. And can you say how? <laughs> Not right now. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. I'm all set, Rob. People of the Enoch? Yes. E-N-O-C-H? Uh, E-N-O-C-H, yes. Could you describe that case a bit? Um, oh, I don't have the case printed out directly in front of me. Do you remember the um, fact pattern? I believe that was a, I believe that was a sexual assault case. Mm -hmm. um, but the, I mean, the facts aren't similar to this case. I don't want to imply that the facts of Enoch are similar. But the law in Enoch goes into what is allowed in under an excited utterance, and in that case the victim made a statement to her mother four and a half hours after she was sexually assaulted and that statement was allowed in legally as an excited utterance so i was using that to really just show that the timing doesn't have it doesn't have to be only a minute after an incident occurs the law has been pretty clear uh there was one other precedent did with hayes mm -hmm. or hess um that is house house people v house that is a I believe that case is from the year 2000. I can check really quick. H-O-U-S-E. H-O-U-S-E, mm -hmm. like a home. Yeah. Um, People v. House, I'm sorry, it's from 1990. Okay. And Enoch is 1989. Okay. Anything similar about the fact pattern in house? Um, no, that was a different case. That was an arson. But again, there was an excited utterance used at trial in that case, and I believe that's Illinois Supreme Court. Yeah. I believe it is. Um, thank you. And again, in that case, the victim made a statement to officers about three hours after the startling incident occurred. Mm -hmm. And that was allowed as an excited utterance. So it's really just showing time frames. I don't want to imply that this case is similar to the facts of either of those cases because it is not similar at all. My last question is, in your opinion, does Illinois and the Illinois Supreme Court uh, have there, has their definition of excited utterance expanded further than most states or perhaps the, the original federal rules of evidence determination of excited utterance? Not being an expert in other states' law, I can't say determinatively. It does seem like Illinois has a slightly higher, um, I don't want to say a higher bar. More expansive? Yes, I think that's probably a better way to put it. I think it has a little bit more of an expansive or perhaps lenient view of an excited utterance. But Illinois, as you probably know, under the state rules of evidence, does not have a present sense impression exception to hearsay, which the federal rules do. So mm -hmm. that could be part of the reason, but I don't want to put words in the Supreme Court's mouth. Right, who does? Okay. All right. Thank you.